Yeah, welcome to Cooking with Papa Tuck and Papa Tuck's Kitchen. How y'all doing out there? We're going to do us up a special here today. Uh, and I'm going to be checking out this new Dene uh, stove tops. Uh, stove. This thing is so cool. Check this out. I picked this up and we're going to do a little cooking with this. I mean, this thing is awesome for you college students out there, in, you know, in your dorms and whatnot. This thing is perfect. And this is a good meal for it, too. So uh, we'll open this up a minute, get, get it set up, and let me... Let me start getting everything all prepped up first. Then we'll move our meat board, okay? This is so cool. And, uh, oh, check the shirt out. Trilogy, the all-new family fun board game is ready. All you need to do is go to papabooks.net and check it out. And we even got a shirt with the game on the back. Yeah! How can you beat that? I'll show you a little bit about that after. Okay, um, what, what I got going in this is, is chicken. This is so inexpensive for you families on the go out there. This is so cool. Um, we do this up quite a bit here, and it's very inexpensive. I just got back in from work. I'm going to throw this together real quick. We decided to film it for you. But what we got going in this, I got chicken going into this. Um, I got some heavy cream that I picked up, a small can of, of stewed tomatoes. Okay, it's about 14.5 ounces. And I actually picked up, and this is hard to find, but look around and you'll find it in your grocery store, okay? This, this is a coconut milk, okay? And we're going to use a little bit in this, in this recipe, and it, it's very good. And then we've got, we've got uh, some quick garlic. It's all crushed up and ready to go. Find that in your grocery store easy enough. Like I say, this is an easy meal, okay? And then we've got some all-prepped basil, okay? Um, I'm going to be putting kale in this. I've picked up some nice fresh kale, and kale is like awesome for you. Um, I've got some nice fresh broccoli, okay, and I've got some nice fresh uh, green beans. So actually, let, let me get some of this uh, kale cleaned up. We'll go right over to the sink over here and wash it. Boy, they got that baby tied up good. Let me get that right off of there. I want to. I'm going to wash all my uh, wash all my greens real good. Let me wash this real quick. You are absolutely going to love that new Trilogy game. That thing is so cool. So cool. But I want to chop these greens up a little bit. These are going to cook down to nothing, You know, if you know what I mean. Let me uh, break it up here a little bit. We'll start chopping this stuff up. I'm going to put these out the way a little bit. Like this. And as I chop these, I'll put these right in my, my bowl over here and get them ready. Okay. So let's just chop these up a little bit, get them broke up. I don't want to cook them whole. And uh, they're gonna, like I say, they're going to cook down to nothing anyhow. But uh, how's, uh, how's your summer out there, everybody? The school's starting up pretty soon. The kids are going to be going back to school. It's been really, really, really busy here on Martha's Vineyard. But we've had a fun summer. We've had a fun summer. So let me get this all chopped up into there. Chop the other ones up. We'll get these babies cooked down. Look at this. Oh my god. You know, this meal does not take that long to cook. I think the longest part of cooking this thing is cooking the chicken. You know? And we're going to get that going in a minute. And then I'll show you what to do with the coconut milk. We're gonna actually going to make a little wet cream sauce, you might say. So, let's get this broccoli off. I want to wash this off, too. It's got that rubber band on it. Let me get this all washed up. Got two rubber bands on it holding her together. Break that right off of there. And we'll wash these babies right up in cold water too. Get all the little goodies from the garden all washed off of them. There you go. And we're going to take and chop these up a little bit. The whole thing, stems and all. Stems and all. We're going to mix all this stuff together in a frying pan and I'll show you when we get into it. There you go. Put this right over here with the kale. There you go. God, this stuff. Love greens. And then we're going to take some, uh, these are nice fresh green beans too. And I got all this stuff down to Koenig's Market here on Martha's Vineyard. I want to wash these up too. We're going to take a couple handfuls just like that. Put these over here. We can munch on them later. I want to wash these up. I like to keep 
keep those green vegetables all washed up because, you know, you're not, even when you do grow it in your own garden, you want to wash them before you cook them and eat them. But you want to make sure, you know, you don't know where they're coming from. They got pesticides and everything on them, you know. So we're just going to take the green beans and basically cut them twice, okay? And that's it. They're going to be chunk size about like that, okay? You're, just, you're basically just cutting them twice, depending on the size of them. Let me get this out. Oh, we don't want to cook that. Yeah, that's for mom and duck right there. Let's get that baby just like that. Okay, and we got another handful in here. We got to cut in half and get them ready. Get them all out there. We're just going to cut these ones once. There we go. There's our green beans all cut. So let's get this meat board moved out the way. Get the calendar moved out of the way. I'm going to move this meat board out of the way and we're going to break out this new cooker and see how this baby works. Because I have not even used this thing yet. Right there. We we'll use a bowl there a little bit later. Let's see what we got in here. This is pretty cool. I picked this up down to uh, Jesse's Hardware Store. It's a it's a it's a True Value Hardware Store, and Jesse has everything down there. And if you ask him, he still makes keys. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, they're good people down there. Boy, this is nice and it's lightweight. I mean, this thing is beautiful for you college students out there. Oh my God, look at this. This is nice. Oh, I can't wait to cook on this thing. It's got two different size burners on it. Oh my God, we can actually get two things cooking on it. Look at this. Check this out. It's got two different size burners on it. Very, very nice. You've got a, a, a big size and a little size burner. Oh, this is, you can, I mean, get, you can be cooking something over here. You can be melting your butter and cooking your garlic on this side. I love this thing. So let me wipe the table off, and uh, I'll be right back. We'll start throwing this thing together. All right. We've got our little stove top all set up, and this thing is really, really cool. Um, and I got my pan out here. We're going to start prepping things up in it. But I've adjusted my temperature in the front. This thing is, like, totally awesome. And it has a switch in the back. So we're going to turn that on on. We want this on a medium heat. So I've got that about a medium. And this, this uh, side is heating up. So I'm going to put that on there. We're going to take a little uh, green olive oil. And what we're going to do is just basically cover the bottom of this in green olive oil. Not a lot. And not quite covering the bottom. We're talking maybe three quarters of the bottom with a little green olive oil on there. Okay, so let's set this baby right over here like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to put our veggies in here and start cooking them down. Okay? So let's just get these babies right in here and start cooking them down. Just like this. And what we're after is we want to cook these until they are tender. Okay? Just tender. Nice. So what we're going to do is basically saute them. Okay? Let me just get all them babies right in there like that. There we go, just like that. Now, on the other side of our cooker, which we can turn our, our heat on right now to like a medium, and start warming that up, and we're actually going to throw a little green olive oil in there also. Okay, not a lot. Just about like that. We'll start warming that olive oil up. We are going to throw about a tablespoon of basil in, okay? There's about a tablespoon of basil, all right, and we are going to throw, oh my God, get that baby open, oh my God, smell that garlic, God, that's nice and fresh. We are going to throw about two tablespoons of chopped garlic in there, and we're going to start bringing that up to a top. No big deal, just bring it up to a top. Let me get something to stir this baby with over here, over here. Yeah, I love cooking this up. This is good stuff. So let's get this stir in here. My God, I love this little stove. This thing is nice. Real nice. So we're actually going to throw about a cup of water into these greens. Just about a cup of water into the greens. 
just like that, and start just bringing them up to temp so that we can get them nice and tender. Now, while these babies are cooking up, we are going to get our cream over here. We're going to put our garlic out of the way, just like that. Now, these babies are starting to cook up nice, and as this garlic browns, I show you what they're going to look like. Okay? So let's get them babies cooked up first. We're going to take our coconut oil, and we're going to take our stewed tomatoes. Okay? We're going to open these babies up. I need to put a top on this because I want these to sort of steam while they saute, and then we'll stir them up, stir them up as they go. And, uh, oh boy, listen to them babies. This is that garlic starting to cook up. Oh, that is so nice. So nice. What we're doing is we're actually going to brown this garlic up a little bit. And we're going to pour about a half of this can of this coconut oil into here. Okay? And then when we cook our chicken, I'll show you. We're going to all mix it together and cook our chicken. Okay? And then we'll put our sauce in after. Oh, boy, this is a nice stove. This baby's cooking quick. Real quick. And smell that garlic. Oh, my God. Does that ever smell good? And this is what it's looking like, okay? Camera want to get a close-up? This is what we're doing. We're cooking this garlic all up in that, in that, just that little bit of olive oil in there. And we're browning the garlic, okay? Just, just to get it browned up. And uh, let's finish browning that. Just like that. My God, you've got to get one of these. Uh, all you parents out there, you've got to get one of these stoves for your, for, your, for, your, for your children that are in college. This thing is awesome. This thing is awesome. They can do their cooking right in the dorm. They don't have to go out to all those fast food places. And they can save themselves some money. Go on right down to their local grocery store and get something for $10 or $15 rather than going out to a fast food place. They cook up a nice meal, have some, have some of their friends over, make a nice entertaining meal right there on the weekend at the dorm. And they can pick themselves up a trilogy game. Camera want to get a close-up on this a little bit. And... Uh, they can play Trilogy with all their friends. And the really cool thing about Trilogy, oh, look at the board. Now I'm back. I'll show you all this stuff after, but two to ten players on each team. It's awesome. It's an awesome family party game. And I'll explain how it works a little bit later, but this thing is awesome. You're going to love it. And uh, we're, we're getting into some toy stores out there. And on some of my new shows, I'll let you know the stores. Oh, my God, is this ever browned up nice, real nice. Okay, now, this is all browned up. We're going to throw some coconut milk in there, and i got to turn this down. And we'll be right back, and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. These babies are browned up really, really nice, okay? All right, and, and this is what you want to, this is about what you want, the camera wants to get a close-up, okay? The garlic is just starting to brown. And oh my God, does this ever smell good? Yeah, I love this stuff. Oh, I just want to butter it into it. But what we're going to do with this now is I turn my burner down on my new stove. This thing, I'm telling you, this thing is awesome. You really, really are. I'm going to put these things up on my website so that you can go there and check things out and take a look at this. And uh, I mean, you can go down to your store probably in a hardware. Like I, like I say, I got mine at Shirley's. I'm now talking to Jesse, but... You get one of these things in your, uh, any, probably any of your True Video hard steers, uh, what I would, I would think, out, out there in the country. But you got to get one. All right, now we're going to put, oh my God, let me show you. Let me get a cup. Let me get a cup. I'll just show you instead of doing the Papa Duck pour. All right. We're going to pour look how thick that is. Okay. Oh my God, does that smell good? We're gonna be pouring about a jigger full in there, uh, maybe a double, sh a double, a double shot glass. Okay. We're gonna pour that right in there with that. Okay. And we're gonna stir that right in, just like that. Okay. Just like that. We're gonna stir that right in while it cooks. Look at that. Oh my God, does that ever smell good? And this is creaming up nice. I want to bring this. I want to bring this up to temperature just a little bit. Okay. And we are going to take and pour. Now I want, I want to bring this right up to temp. I want to get this I want to get this baby cooking. So I'm going to take and turn my stove right up. Oh, about medium. Medium to medium high, okay? And then we're going to put about a cup's worth of heavy cream in there. A 
about a cup's worth. All right, now what we're going to do is we are going to bring that cream up to a boil, and we're going to we're going to stir it. Okay. Now let's check our cow. These babies are just starting to warm up good. Just starting to warm up good. Just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my cow over to the stove. Okay. Because I want to start do, showing you what I'm going to do with the chicken. So let me get this moved over. And uh, I'll get the chicken going and I'll be right back. Okay? All right. We've got our frying pan. We put it down. We're starting to bring it up to temperature. And I'm going to put a little green olive oil on the bottom of this. Just about like that. We're going to coat the bottom a little bit. Well, again, about three-quarter coat. Now, don't fully cover the bottom. Okay? And then we're going to take put our chicken in here. And we are going to cook our, cook our chicken up. And as we brown the chicken and cook it through, what we're going to do is cut it into nice chunks, maybe inch by inch chunks, okay? And then, uh, just handle the chicken, gotta wash the hands. So let me wash my hands up, and uh, we'll start cooking that chicken up. And we'll add our other ingredients to it, because what we're gonna do here, okay, what we do is we cook this chicken up, and we get it to its brown, and after it's cooked, I'll take and cut it up, and I'll show you that. But after that's all done, this, this, this cream that we've been cooking will thicken up. And what we're going to do is add this right to the chicken and cook it, okay? We're going to add it right into that. And then we're going we're gonna to put it all together. We're going to mix it all together. And then you can actually take and put this over a bed of white rice. I mean, this is delicious. And it's good for you. Don't tell the kids. Don't tell the kids it's good for you. <laughs> well... But what we'll do, what we'll do is we got our stewed tomatoes opened up and remember to get that can of stewed tomatoes. Once our cream comes up to a nice nice boil and I'm thickening it, thickening it up, I'm gonna pour these stewed tomatoes up, bring it right back up to a boil, and then that cream sauce is done, okay? And then the cream sauce is just gonna get dumped into the chicken and we're gonna it's just gonna be oh my god, it's just gonna be so good. Wait till you see it. I love it. And then and then we mix it all together with our kale and our and our broccoli and we put it over our white rice with our little green beans in it. It's cool. I love this stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's very, very quick and very, very easy to prepare. Okay? Now let me go get you... Oh my God, does that ever smell good. My God, I love, I love coconut in my food. There's not a lot of foods that I put it in, but I do like to put it in there once in a while. Let me go get a Trilogy board and uh, directions and I'll show you what it looks like. Right now, back. let me set this down here a little bit. This is Trilogy. It's really cool. And when, when you're out there in the stores, you'll see it, and it's in a bag like this, okay? You can't, you can't beat it. And I put some information on it so you can read about it. You know what it is, blah, blah, blah. But inside the bag, look at it. It's cloth. It's really cool. These are your directions, okay? These are your directions. Awesome, huh? Totally awesome. That comes all folded up in the bag, okay? And then this is, this is actually, oh, there goes the dice. This is your game board. This is a game board trilogy, and it's cloth and folds up. And this thing, it's, it's unique. It's actually very unique because you can take this bag to your party that you're going to, throw it in your pocketbook, and you're not carrying a great big box. I mean, it's, this is totally awesome packaging. I love the concept. You'll get a timer in there, a sand timer. What you do is you would roll dice, okay? Put your pawns on start. I got a one, okay? So what I would do, let me just make this so you can see it a little bit. What you do is you hit start. I roll the one so that I would, well, actually, say we went to a three. I went to three, okay? I landed on green. Green is, is W. You'll see the W right on it. Green is W. There's, there's cards. Oh, I don't have the cards here. I'm not going to open it. There's cards. You pick a card up, and there's three categories. You've got your yellow, your green, and your red. All right, say I just picked the green, which is W, stands for workout, okay? I would look at my card, see what I'm working out. Say I'm working out uh, elephant, okay? Workout means just what it says, workout. Um, you're going to flip the timer. You have got one minute to get your team to guess what you're working out. Like, you do this bodily. You can't use your voice. It's no point in anything. Uh, you know, do the trunk. Get them to say elephant. Get them to say elephant. Work out elephant. And uh, if they don't get it, it goes to the next team. It's really cool. And then say you landed on a yellow. Yellow is the draw card. 
okay? Chimpanzee, say the card's chimpanzee. You've got a big a piece of paper and a pencil, you draw it out, you get your teammates to say chimpanzee, you know? And then the, the red is questionnaire. It's basically like a trivia question. You ask a question and get your team to answer it correctly. And it, it, it's awesome. This thing is a lot of fun for parties. Really, really cool. And uh, we're actually doing a TV game show, and we've done a couple. We're going to get back into it this winter and do a series of game shows for TV. Oh, my God, does that stuff ever smell good? It's starting to come to a boil over here. Let me get that stirred. Our cream sauce is sickening. Now, can you imagine having a party at the house, inviting a bunch of people? I mean, you can have up to 20 people, 10 people on each team. Cook them up a nice meal and play Trilogy. Can't beat it. Yeah! Let me get this all put away so it don't get dirty. So, let's get this chicken flipped around in here a little bit because that, my God, I love this stove. This thing is awesome. It is cooking this stuff up so nice. And look at, I mean, you throw it on your counter. I get, my, it's on the kitchen table for God's sakes. How the heck can you beat that? I love this. I love this. All right, now we're bringing, we're up to a boil with our sauce, okay? So at this point, I am going to stir my stewed tomatoes in. Let me get the bun knocklers on so I can see. Let me stir my stewed tomatoes right in there. That whole can goes right in, just like that. Just like, oh my God, smell that mix. And then you stir it around, just like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to bring this back up to a boil. Let me stir all them tomatoes and spices into this. Just like that. Get that all stirred in. My, my white coconut cream sauce is turning a tint of red. This is what we want. We'll bring that back up to a boil and we'll turn it off. We'll get this chicken all done and I'll show you what to do with it. I'll be right back. All right. Now, our kale and greens are all done. I'm going to bring them over and show you what they look like. Okay. I'm going to get burnt here. This is basically what they're looking like. If the camera wants to get a close up. These things are done to perfection. They're nice and tender. See how much they've cooked down? And what we'll do is we're doing our chicken up right now, okay? I'm going to put these back over on the stove over here. Those are done. Those are done. Um, what we're doing now is we're going to check our chicken. Oh, my God, does that ever smell good? Oh, our chicken is cooking up nice, real nice. And as you can see, it's not quite done yet, but it's at a point where I'm going to chop this up and, and get it into chunks, okay? Um, I'm going to take my knife right while it's cooking, and I'm going to chop that up. Now let's let's take a look. We're just starting to come back up to a nice boil here. Um, what I'll probably do is turn this down a little bit on our sauce. Oh my God, does that ever smell good? So let me turn that sauce down a little bit. I'm not quite used to the stove yet, but, but this thing is awesome. I'm going to turn that down to about medium. These dials are really handy on this. What we're going to do is we're going to get this chicken all cut up, okay? This, we're going to do it right in the stove. I'm going to actually put it on top of my other chicken and just cutting it up. I'm going to get it into my chunks. Oh my God, does that ever smell good. So, when I get this all done, I'll show you what it looks like. We'll get it all mixed together. All right. Now, we've got our chicken all cut up into these little chunks, okay? And that's about the size we did. You can cut them a little bit smaller if you like, or you can leave them a little bit larger. It's up to you. But the secret is to get them cut up. And as I was cutting, I was checking to make sure that my chicken is cooked all the way through. And it is. It's white all the way through. There's, there's no pink or red meat in there at all. It's, it's done. Now, you notice when we cooked this chicken, we did not put any spices into it basically at all. Okay? Because now it's time to add our sauce to it. Okay? So what we've got... I stir that up a little bit more. This is our chicken. If the camera wants to get close up, before I do this, this is what it's looking like in the pan, all done. Okay? There's a little juice in there. And we're going to leave that juice right in there. Okay? So what we're doing at this point is we're going to take and turn our stove off. And I'm going to mix this sauce that we made right into this. Just like this. Look at that. Get it all in there. Oh my God, does that ever smell good? And what we're going to do 
is put the top on this. I'm going to turn my stove down a little bit. We're going to let this simmer. Let me put this right over here. We're going to, we're going to let this simmer. Put a little water in that pan so it makes it easier for mom to talk to clean the pan. Yeah! <laughs> Love it. Oh my God, does that ever smell good. So what we're going to do is put top right back on that. We're going to cook that up. I'm going to pull the greens off. We're going to mix all this together and I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. All right, we're all set. Um, this whole meal takes right around a half hour for you to prep at home, so keep that in mind. This is quick. This is very quick. All the ingredients were very inexpensive. I mean, you're talking chicken and kale and some greens. Um, you probably could take and put this on a bed of rice. That's the way that we like it, and I'll do that later on. When the wife gets home, I'll make some fresh rice, and I'll put this over rice, and that's our meal tonight. You can't beat this. Now, let me show you what the greens look like, okay? These babies are all done. I know I've already showed you once. What we're going to do is we're going to take dump these greens right into this casserole dish. Right into that casserole dish. Look at that. Oh, my God, do they ever smell good. I love greens. Let me get all of them out of there. Yeah, my God, does that ever smell good? Put that right back over there. And then we're going to take, oh my God, does that ever smell good? Yeah, baby. I'm liking this. Put that right in there. Let me turn my stove off. This is so easy. All I did is, boom, turn the knob and the stove's off. What we're going to do is now, listen. I want to mention, I, I uh, mixed everything together and I brought this back up to a boil. The more this cooks, the thicker it gets. This is the way that I like it. You can cook it longer if you want and thicken this, the, um, the, the cream sauce up. But I like it like this. So, and so is the family. So now, this is all boiled up. What we're going to do is we're going to mix this right over our greens, okay? We're going to put it right over the top of that. So let's take it off. And let's just mix it right in. Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God, does that ever look good? Let's get our chicken in there. Oh my God, does that ever look good? Oh, there's all the juice. My God, does this smell good? Let's just get this dished right in. See, I got some bigger chunks of chicken still that they cook down. But look at this. Oh my God, does that ever smell good? Let's get it all out. I don't want to waste any of it. I want all that in there. Yeehaw, does that ever smell good? Wait till you try this in your kitchen. Oh my God. Oh my God. Okay, there you go. Now what we'll do, look at that. Now you take and just put that over a bed of rice and you got yourself one heck of a home cooked meal right there in your kitchen. And remember, you did this with Papa Tuck in Papa Tuck's kitchen. Yeehaw, I'll see you soon.